Hi, this is Luke and Paul for Production Expert, and today we are checking out Mixstage IO. Now this is a cloud-based virtual screening and collaboration tool, and today we're going to see how it works and how it performs as well. So Mixstage is slightly different to some of the others because what you do is you upload your video to it. So it streams from the Mixstage server, and you can also sync your DAW playback to it. So that's that fires off the video for the client to see. Um, and Paul, I know it's it's fairly straightforward um, to set up at your end. Could you just talk us a little bit about um, what you've got going on at your end in Pro Tools? Sure. So in Pro Tools, I'm just going to go through this stage by stage. Firstly, I went to Setup and then Peripherals. And under the Synchronization tab, one thing which is critical to this is MTC. So MIDI timing code, you can see I've got MTC reader port is set to any, but importantly as well, MTC generator port is set to the IAC driver bus one. Now the IAC driver, if we go into audio MIDI setup, is actually part of the system-based MIDI on the Mac. And this is something which you just need to enable. So if it isn't already, just make sure that bus one is chosen. You can rename it if you like, and make sure that you enable this option, devices online and click apply. Once you've done that, there's only one more stage. So going into Pro Tools preferences, just a couple of things to check. We've got machine follows edit insertion and scrub and also machine cues intelligently. And that is it. So all that you need to do from there is enable Gen MTC in the transport. And of course you can do that in the floating transport window here or at the top of the edit window. Once you've done that, you're basically set. Maybe I should just speak a little bit about what we do in mix stage. Luke and I are in a room, which is a virtual environment in which you can screen stuff, view it, collaborate and chat. And within that, I've got the video loaded. So the video, this is one of the things which makes it really perfect in, in the way it streams, is that the video is uploaded to Mixstage and you're viewing it from there. So you're not seeing a stream from my end as such. It's triggered and synchronized with timecode. That sounds that sounds fairly straightforward, Paul. And I like the fact that you can it basically follows your DAW transport. So you know you you're not streaming a 4K file across to your client. It's streaming from the mix uh, the mix stage server. And um, could you just run a little bit of your video for me, just so I can have a look at the quality there, please? Sure, no problem. And also, just you mentioned the fact that it does follow the transport. You can see as I navigate around Pro Tools, it's also getting mixed stage to follow. Yeah, I can see that changing at my end as well, Paul. So now I'll play a few seconds and you can take a listen to the audio and see how smooth the video is at your end. Move into the corridor and turn left, C squad. As a client, I can drop markers as well. So all I have to do is click um, in my timeline and then I can just drop a marker simply by going, OK, I'm going to drop a marker here. Uh, test mark four, let's call it that. And also I can change the color of it too. So uh, I'll just click the little triangle and then I've got some little color labels as well. And I think I'm right in saying that those can be exported as well. Yeah, precisely. So I can see them on my screen now. And there's one thing which I didn't mention earlier as well is that the interface with the MIDI timecode and this requires a couple of other things. Um, it's strongly recommended that you use a Chrome web browser, which we're using here. Right. Because as we know, Chrome has some of the best audio and MIDI functionality. But also, I've got this door streamer window open. So this couples with the project. And this is what actually receives both the audio input from Pro Tools and it links with that Mac based IAC driver. I say Mac because we're on Mac, but this is compatible with Windows as well. So it's a very well thought through system. What's more, it also supports a variety of all the common timecode rates and frame rates. So we're running this at 29.97 frames per second, but it supports 25, 24 and any rate that you're likely to want to work at on a typical video based project. So that is using Mixstage I.O. for virtual screening and collaboration. To find out more about Mixstage I.O., head over to the Production Experts blog.